I'm editing photos a lot, often creating different image combinations. For example, these YouTube thumbnails. And for that purpose, I always need to be removing the background of the image. And in this video, I want to show you all of my favorite techniques on how to do that on the Mac. I will start from some very basic options, just one click background removal. But progressively, we will get to more advanced techniques where you can adjust the selection a lot more precisely. And at the end of the video, I want to show you how it's done in Photoshop, professional editing app. It can be simply done there with just few clicks as well. But first, let's get the image now. A lot of attention is recently getting the new Image Playground app, where you can generate your own images. You can do it from your photos, from different people and all sort of different things. And you can very easily export it from there as well. Simply take the image and drag it to the desktop. Now I have this square image, but I don't want its background. So let's open it up. By default, it will be opening in the preview app. And the easiest way how you can remove the background is to simply right click the image or control click it and select copy subject. Now I can paste it somewhere else, maybe in pages or any other document. Or I can just go to the file menu on top and select the first option, new from clipboard. That will create a new image without the background. Of course in preview you can do the same thing if you go to the tools menu and select remove background. That's basically two different ways how to do the same thing. Just be careful here, because before we have created new image, but here using this tool, you are removing the background on the original image. But neither of these two techniques gives you any control over the background removal process. It's all done by AI, so you are fully relying on that. Well, there is one more technique we can use in preview, where we can manually remove the background. It's a little bit more complicated and it will probably not work on all of these complex backgrounds, but I'll show you anyway. So first open up the markup tools and select the second option, Instant Alpha. Thanks to that you can drag around the borders of the object and remove the background colors. It will probably require multiple steps to do it in such an image. To help you out with this task you can also use the Smart Lasso selection. Thanks to that, you can select the borders of the image a little bit more precisely. So combining these two techniques, you can quite nicely remove the background as well. But as I mentioned before, I would probably use this technique only if there is some clear background or at least clear separation of the object from the background. But of course, we don't need to work only in the preview app. You can also find the background removal command in several different apps on the Mac. For example, here on the other desktop, I have the Freeform app open. If I select the image, I get the option to remove the background here as well. And same thing can be done in pages. If I switch to image tab in the format sidebar, I can remove background there with one click. Good option here in pages is that you can actually adjust the selection. I can use this rectangle to click and drag around the object borders to improve the background removal process. But now let's see the difference between these simple apps and professional Photoshop editing app. It's easier than you think. So simply drag the image into the Photoshop. Here, go to selection on the left. It's the second option. And click on the select and mask button in the toolbar. Now new button appeared. Select object. And with one click, you are basically done. As you can see, it's quite precise, selecting even these spaces between the hair. Plus here, you have the full control over the selection. You can use these plus and minus buttons to adjust it to every detail. And once you are happy with it, press OK. You will see the selected image and the last step is to right click on it and select layer via copy. Now I have two different layers, so I can easily turn off the background. And then save just a copy of this image without the background. So as you can see, removing the background on the image is quite easy task on the Mac. And it can be done in few different ways. What is also easy is to give this video a like so more people can also learn these techniques. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.